Welcome back everyone. We're here with another Excel tutorial. Uh, again, this relates to macros, but this specifically relates to when you're using data validation uh, in macro code. Uh, again, we're going to use an example where we've inserted a new row. Um, some people have, again, put uh, questions about how this is done on uh, the channel, so it's just in response to some of those. We can see in our example here that attribute 4 has a data validation and we can see that because it's a drop down menu if I try to type anything into this cell that wasn't approved it would just give me an error okay that's what essentially what data validation is you can only put certain values into this cell the data validation in this example is being pulled from these four cells here so in attribute 4 you could only put one of these four values and you can see this if I press on the down arrow you can see that those are the only options that I have to insert into this specific cell. So if you want to insert a new row in this case, and you want to keep those data validation uh, properties, but for the cell that's going to be above it, how do we do this? So I'm just going to show you this working in an example. So just to show you how that works, you can see that I can select my attribute there. If I press my macro, you can see that in the new cell that's been created, I get the same data validation options. How to do this? So it's actually only a minor tweak on um, some of the old code that if you've watched some of the old videos we've gone over. Um, so, so just to edit the code, we go into design mode, click developer, click design mode, open up our command button. You can see that this code here relates to just the insertion of a new cell or a new row, should I say, and then the correct formatting of that to include the, the lines. What we're interested in, in here is this piece of code, which essentially copies the validation properties of the cell below and pastes them in the cell above. So it doesn't actually copy the cell value. All it does is copy the data validation properties. So in our example here, sheet, sheet one is the sheet that I'm working on, range E5 Dot copy so e5 is here I'm copying the cell below because that contains the data validation properties that we want to insert into the cell above we then sheets uh, sheet one we select that range e4 is the cell is a cell essentially where we want to apply the new data validation properties to and then this is the base of the key bit the paste special we're only paste in the validation. We're not pasting anything else. That's why it's an Excel paste validation. Application copy mode equals false. Okay, that's essentially our code. If you are going to do this in your own workbooks, again, you will have to tailor some of these uh, values uh, for your own personal needs, i.e. by changing. Um, if the sheet is called something else, you need to change the sheet value. If the range is obviously a different range, which it most likely will be, you'll have to edit those properties as well. If you are unsure on how to do this, please look back at some of the other videos that we've done. Uh, we do go over exactly uh, how to do this in a more simpler uh, format, just so you get up to speed with these kind of things. Again, I'll make this uh, available on the website, so I'll pop this up now. Uh, so you can download this as a workbook, uh, just so you can see how this works in real time. And you may even be able to edit this workbook to be able to fit into your own needs. So I hope this has helped. Again, if you have questions or any other uh, requests for uh, specific macro videos, pop them in the comments below. As you can see, we do um, respond to these fairly quickly when we can. So thanks for your time. Hope it helps. And see you later.